This is a Toyota 22RE. I would like to replace the timing chain, the guides, and a few other parts while I'm working in that area. I haven't had it running today yet, but this is what it sounds like when it started. So I've got some of the components removed now. The AC compressor, just have it laying off to the side here. I didn't want to disconnect those lines. And I would like to use that same idea with the power steering pump, not disconnect the lines, but rather just lay that pump off to the side. And I think that one, the way I'm planning to disassemble it, is the brackets will still be attached to the pump when that comes apart. And to have better access to some of the bolts that hold one of the main brackets on for the power steering pump, I would like to remove this distributor. And before I remove the distributor, I'd like to put the engine at top dead center. And to get close to top dead center, I need to rotate the engine so that the rotor is pointing towards the number one plug wire. So number one cylinder is the one furthest forward so if I follow that plug wire that's this one here so this is my uh, number one plug wire and I can see that the rotor is not pointing in that direction so I'll be able to turn it by hand and the rotor should move Okay, so that's getting close now. So it should be right about here, looks like. Oh, I may have gone too far. Okay, so that'll be close. And now I should be able to find marks here. So the zero mark, I can see a zero mark and I can see a mark here on the pulley. So I'm just gonna rotate the engine to line this mark up with the zero mark, and that should be top dead center. I thought of it later, it's actually not time yet, for me to try and be precise locating top dead center because I don't have these uh, crankshaft pulley bolts out yet particularly that middle one and that one's been a bit of a challenge to try and get that off so trying to remove it makes the engine turn some anyways this is what I've been using so far the uh, half inch impact that didn't do it and then uh, I put the transmission in fourth with the park brake on I was using the uh, the, the breaker bar, but I didn't like the idea of putting that kind of stress on the uh, transmission. Maybe it won't be a problem, but I didn't like the idea. And uh, so I'm going to try uh, the three-quarter inch impact. And uh, if I can get that in there with a the socket, then that, I'm thinking that should do it. So part of the problem is the size of the airline. If I had a bigger airline, it would uh, the impact would work better but that's the size of the airline I have so that's what I'm going to use build up see if that makes a difference so later I was able to get that center bolt loose with that three-quarter impact so the rotor for the distributor is pointing towards where number one plug wire would be and it 
put a piece of tape here on the distributor and I made a mark on the tape where it lines up with that area where it looks like the uh, casting on the cylinder head has been machined so that I'm using that sort of like as a as a line to line up with this mark here that I made with the the pen on the tape there on the distributor so I'll be able to put that distributor very very close if not exactly back where it was before I pulled it out and down here so here I'm at top dead center and I have the wire disconnected so I'd like to remove that distributor now ratcheting box end would be nice here So the main bracket here for the power steering pump looks like it's got three bolts holding it on here and there and there. This one looks like it has a ground underneath it. And this bracket, I'll leave that bolted on there and I'll remove this one. So this bolt and the ones in this area and then I think I'll be able to move that whole thing off to the side. Some stuff is in the way like remove the dipstick here and the this plug wire is in the way, but generally I think I think that should work. So anyways guys, I think that's it for this video. And it looks like this is going to be more than one part to this uh, little series that I want to do with this. I was going to show this as well. This is the bracket that holds the AC compressor on the uh, right side of the engine. So it turns out, because there's a, there's, a, there's a tensioner idler here, so it turns out <laughs> So I uh, need to replace, let's get a bad, bad bearing here And uh, so the AC compressor bolts on here And this bracket is held on here and here So that compressor has to come off before this bracket can come off and then there's three more here that hold that bracket on there. So, anyways, that uh, figured I'd show that. Well, that's enough of that. <laughs>